this is Dennis Narter, the city reporter for the News Sun. And uh, today I was given the assignment to uh, be a uh, school cafeteria worker for a day. And I uh, went to Northside Elementary here in Kenneville and was a food service worker for the day. The uh, team there in the cafeteria put me to work at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, three of them had already arrived much sooner. And my first task was to uh, was to separate the frozen meat patties. This is Swiss steak. Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak. Looks like reconstituted hamburger. And then I was given the task of making the mashed potatoes and spooning the mashed potatoes into the cups. The kids had uh, Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes and gravy, uh, salad, uh, watermelon, little tomatoes, uh, or they had the option of peanut butter sandwiches, yogurt, uh, cheese sticks. Do the mashed potato. Watch that face. Oops. Our basic goal here is to make sure that we have lunches ready to go when the children come down through the line. If it's something that we need to prepare ahead of time that has to set out and fall, um, basically, um, at the 9 o'clock uh, hour is where we start getting the, the vegetables and the watermelon or whatever type of fruit that we're serving, getting it ready to go on the line. Um, also, the main dish person is starting to prep whatever the main dish item is. Today it was Salisbury steak, so she was getting that ready and preparing side dishes. Uh, we had mashed potatoes and gravy today, so she was prepping that, getting that ready to be served also. Uh, what I found uh, that uh, opened my eyes as far as work in the cafeteria is concerned is how quick and efficient these ladies worked together as a team. There's five of them, and they served 300, prepared the food and served 350 students within an hour and a half. And that amazed me. You need to have all your basic food groups uh, put in there. You need to have your uh, main dish, which usually consists of your protein, or it's a protein. It, if it's a sandwich, you have your grains in there. Um, you have also we serve a lot of vegetables and fruit items. Um, so that would be two of your side dishes. Sometimes if we have a sandwich or we have chicken nuggets, we put uh, potato smiles in there, some type of potato uh, or legumes. We have baked beans. So it just depends on the menu for that day as to what we need to prepare. But it all adds up over a week's time of what a child is recommended to have in a week's time as far as their nutrients and their diets. My day usually starts about 20 after 6. I, I uh, get into the building. I start getting the system up and running to run the cards through the line. Um, and then I just start fixing breakfast, getting breakfast ready. The kids usually come in here about 20 till 8 for breakfast. So start getting that ready to be served and clean up. And then we start in with the lunch menu. The most challenging thing was to remember to use the hot pads when picking up hot pans of food. On a couple of occasions I burned my fingers because I didn't, I forgot to use hot pads. When you remove them from the warmer, you remove the pans of food from the oven and put them on the serving area for the lines of children, uh, you must remember to use hot pads. Now you can't be doing that, you just put your thumb down in that glove. I admire all cafeteria workers uh, for uh, the care they take in preparing the food and the care they take in, in treating all the children the same and making sure the children are uh, get a good meal. My fingers are starting to prune, James. I've washed oh, myself. Yes, that happens. <laughs> there you go. Just keep. Uh, I'm going to tell, tell Mrs. Linson about your paper. You know what? We're, he's hired. <laughs> I 
We got him on the calling list, most definitely. He took instructions well. I'm nearing retirement, as we say, so I'm not interested in food service. One, one day was enough for me.